welcome back everybody so surprise surprise uh, disaster has struck um, this morning I was uh, working on a recording bringing you the second episode on our new farm and I put in a solid two hours of work lots of good recording lots of great content and not only did the recording software corrupt the file at the end, but lo and behold, I launched Farm Sim when I got home from running around with uh, Mrs. Geezer all morning. And the save game within Farm Sim was gone. I have never seen a save game delete itself. I've seen them go, go corrupt, I've seen problems sneak into them. It was deleted, completely gone. So um, I have replicated what I did in the two hours of time that I lost. Uh, I kind of reorganized the yard a little bit. Um, I took the big bale trailer that was tucked in this tiny little shed and we stuck it over here because I fought long and hard to get that damn thing out of there. Um, I also, uh, managed to get a cedar, um, when I set up the game the first time, I forgot to put the cedar in my equipment list, and I remembered this time, so I've, I've got it back. Uh, all the equipment is the same otherwise. Um, one big difference is you're gonna see all the work that I did this morning when the video crashed. We, we pulled out... There was 21 straw bales and 52 grass bales that are going to be turning into silage that we pulled off of our fields in the two hours of work we did this morning. So um, we had all that done. So I've put all those bales back in. Um, I took these two fields and I set them to harvested. But here's the kicker. The second field that we have over here was canola, but in the game it has set itself to wheat. So what I've done is I know canola is worth more than wheat. I understand this, but I just figured, you know what, we're going to, we're just going to live with it. We're going to say it's a wheat field. So we've got about the same 12,000 liters of wheat in our silo, and um, I put... 3,000 liters of wheat in here with our pigs. I've replaced our pigs. So we're good to go. Um, I think it was actually in the second video that I bought the pigs, and that's the one that went corrupt. So you guys didn't see that. So yeah, we have pigs. <laughs> we have seven pigs. I bought five adult sows that are ready to start reproducing and two... Uh, juvenile sows that they're gonna have to kind of grow into things so um all in all we're roughly back to where we were we're gonna have a little bit less money because we've got wheat in our silos that sells for a lot less than canola um so we're sitting at where is our wheat like twelve thousand liters of wheat and wheat sells for 561 for a thousand uh, as opposed to 1100 for the canola so we're we're kind of screwing ourselves over by keeping the wheat but you know what i'm i'm okay with it i just wanted to uh just wanted to get everything back in shape so that we could go uh so we are on our second day in september i had just slept i saved the game and when i left that's when everything went bonkers and Everything was horrible. So <laughs> anyways, what we're going to do for now is uh, the grass field. Grass has started growing again, which is good. I did notice that the wheat field over there said that it needs to be plowed, whereas our canola field, when we had harvested it, said that it needed uh, didn't need plowing, that we could have got away with cultivating. So that's a little something else that's different that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with so I'm just gonna get the camera set up here and then we'll jump inside but let's uh, let's go grab our plow and we will head over 
to our now wheat field and we'll do uh, we'll do some plowing and we'll get that field ready to rock and roll hey not that button this button there we go but we're all hooked up ready to go so let's uh, let's get over to that field oh I guess I should pick the plow up so I'm not ripping apart my yard Good job, good job. See, rusty at YouTube and also rusty at farming. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we'll zip over here and we'll get to work on doing some plowing. And uh, we're not going to show the entire field getting plowed because um, this is a huge field. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll probably end up doing kind of a time lapse, jump cut type situation where we'll uh, we'll show you bits and pieces of it, and we'll just uh, we'll time lapse it so that you guys can uh, not have to suffer through what's probably going to be about two hours of plowing. So let's uh, change the camera here, and we'll jump out and jump into a little time lapse for you. a little bit here um, as you can see the rain has started falling and uh, one of the mods that I had put in makes it so that if you're plowing or harvesting or uh, doing things like that when it's raining the rain will actually affect the rate at which your equipment gets damaged so we're definitely not going to be doing any plowing while it's raining um, we're probably just going to have to skip a little bit of time until it gets sunny again. But uh, I also remembered that when I uh, did the reset here, I forgot to give myself all the front end loader tools that I had. I had um, pallet forks, I had a bale spike, I had a manure scooper. Right now all I've got is this little... Uh, this little fork with a grapple so I think what we're gonna do is we'll run down to town to the store while it's raining and we'll go and uh, pick up Come on, open up doors we'll go and pick up the uh, equipment that we don't have that we're supposed to have um, I'm not gonna lower my my money of course because it was equipment that we did have that I forgot to give myself when I when I reset everything here so we'll just get our uh, get our equipment back to the way that it was and then we'll we'll proceed because having the pigs uh, in the, in the sty I love that standing water uh, having the pigs in the uh, in the pig sty they're gonna start producing both slurry and manure and so we are going to need to have that manure fork to uh, get that unloaded and dealt with and we're also going to need to figure out um, how we're going to utilize that manure and slurry 
because realistically we're looking at, uh, at fertilizer, but we don't have a spreader, so for now we're, we're probably just going to have to either sell off all of our excess or um, just find somewhere we can store it, I guess. Now, I know the store is down this way somewhere. I hope I am going the right way and I'm going to get there. We've got a biogas plant over this way, according to the sign. Whoa, turned a little too far. Don't let old people drive. Is this, this is my store? This is the store. I was going to drive right past it. Hi, Karamba. Okay, let's get pulled up here. We'll, uh, we'll hop inside and we'll get the equipment we need and then we'll put our money back up where it was. Just so that we've got um, everything we used to have. So we'll go with our front end loader tools. So we had a manure fork, so we're gonna purchase that. And we had this bale spike, so we'll purchase that. And we had some uh, forks, we'll buy that. And then we'll set our money back to our 16,000 that we had. And we will look at how it just drove for like five minutes. Look at how dirty this damn thing is. Jeez. Let's uh, get the back opened up and we'll get all these tools put in here. It'll be a little bit of an awkward stack job, but we'll get her done. I'm hoping that I can pick these up by hand. Nope, they're just a little bit too heavy. So I guess what we'll do is we'll get uh, we'll go in here and talk to somebody and get them to come out and load up our equipment for us. All right, well they got it all loaded up for us. Uh, they were not very happy with me telling them to just put it all in together and uh, I'll just take it as is. This is uh, a little bit on the dangerous side, but eh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We're going down the back roads. We'll take her nice and slow, so. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So let's uh, head back out on the old open road here and we'll head for home and we'll see you when we get back there. Alright, welcome back everybody. We have uh, unloaded all of our front end loader tools, so we're looking good. Uh, it is still raining. I don't know what we're looking at for rain. Oh, look at this. We've got uh, until about 11 a.m. So we might just zip some time ahead here so that we can get back to a spot that we can plow. I'm going to check on how things are looking here. we got lots of slurry going on. It doesn't tell us our money in there. I think um, I thought that it told us we're in here. Oh, it's when we look here. Here will tell us which money we have. Uh, so we've got no liters of manure. Weird. 154 liters of slurry. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, well, let's just hang out here with our pigs for a little bit and we'll zip some time ahead. Wait for the rain to go away. There we are. Rain is gone. Let's get back out to the tractor and we will get back to plowing. Now the dirt's gonna be, or the field's gonna be a little bit wet. Let's see. Yeah, it says that it's gently raining still, but it's not. But the ground will be a little bit wet, so hopefully that won't affect our, uh, our plow and be bad of a way. And rest assured, I will be getting all these tiny little bits and pieces that are hanging out here, so. Don't you worry, because I know I always talk about watching people when they need little bits and pieces in the middle of their field and how much it bugs me, and it does, so we're not going to do it. Let's uh, 
jump back into a time lapse here and we will get the rest of this field done and uh, we'll see what else we can jump into for today. So let's see in a couple seconds, folks. Good, we are. It's so much easier to line up all your implements from third person view. So, we get back in the cab here. We'll slow things down a little bit, make sure we're lifting the plow when we get to the right spot, like so. in the dirt when we get to the right spot <laughs> but that's the way it should be gotta do this uh, gotta do this just like the good old boys do out on the out on the farm right so we're sitting at about three o'clock in the afternoon here, so um, what I want to do really quick is we're gonna take a look and see if, oh look at this, I would, Mohawk, I wasn't paying attention. Let's get that right now. Uh, we need to look and see if we've got a cheap roller sale in the store, or if we can, uh, if we can lease a roller if there's not a cheap one for sale. Uh, because all this plowing has, of course, torn up a boatload of rocks into our field and that is not going to be good for our uh, for our crops so we're going to need to make sure that we get this field rolled or uh, the other option of course is a stone picker uh, stone pickers are usually a whole lot more expensive especially for the, the good ones like I don't really like the uh, the offset one because it is a pain to line up 
and when you've got a monstrous field like this, it seems to just take forever to get the rocks picked. So we will uh, we'll go for the roller option for now. Um, and we have to decide what crop we're going to put in. Because of course we can do winter wheat. Uh, I think we can do winter oat. We'll have to take a look and see what crops we can plant in this season here. Um, but it's definitely going to be an arable crop that will... Oh, I need to get lined up a little bit better. There we go. We're in. Well, let's get this guy unhooked here. And uh, go take a look at what there is in the store. And uh, if we find something, we will uh, take the tractor down there, of course, to pick it up. Can't be hauling back a roller with... Uh, look at this little guy. With... Uh, Pickup truck, now can we? Okay. We've got a few options here. Uh, this one looks like it's oh, a four meter working width. That would be good. The rest of these look kind of tiny. So I think that's the one that we'll go for because this is what I would love to have, of course, but 41,000 bucks. Um, that being said, we do have uh, the ability to lease to own. Um, so we could always lease the, uh, lease the roller that we want and just slowly pay for it over time and it'll become ours. But I think that, uh, I think that this is the one that we'll go for. It's 2,500 bucks and, uh, oh, we can change some color here. Let's try and go. I really like the blues. We'll, we'll get into the blue. It's going to cost us a hundred bucks more. I'll pay the hundred bucks. I like how that looks. Okay, we're going to buy that. We may as well have ourselves a roller to use for uh, the rest of our time at this farm. So let's head on over there and uh, go pick that roller up. Um, I would really like to get some uh, some involvement from you guys on what sort of crop we should look at doing and other interesting things like any any input that you guys have things you would love to see in this series definitely let me know because like I said at the end of the day we're not uh, we're not doing this to make like a you know five billion dollar farm or doing it to buy every piece of land on the map or just just having fun so um, the one thing to keep in mind though is your suggestions have to be kind of rooted in reality like I'm not gonna go and buy a seven hundred thousand dollar John Deere super harvester with an 85 foot header with you know like I don't have that kind of money and I'm not gonna be taking out loans unless it's for, you know, absolute dire straight something I need. Um, so just keep that in mind. Like we are doing this series realistic, and I'd like to keep it as realistic as possible, which means that we will take loans, and we will hire workers to work on our fields and things like that, but it'll be when it's needed, not just to do it just because. So, um, like, if you would like to see me get a chicken coop, like, I mean, I could buy a little chicken coop because the small ones are, are not too expensive, right? Like, or if you want to see me do some, do some bees, I could do some bees, you know? Like, there's things that we can do um, that are reasonable and things that we can do that aren't reasonable. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, like I said, this series is just all about having some fun and uh, just doing doing whatever we want to do. So if there's things you want to see me do or try, 
let me know and we will do or try what we can afford to do or try. Um, yeah, but all in all, uh, I think that what we'll do is we're going to take today's video and bring it to an end once we get the roller back to the field. Um, we have, it's going to take a long time to roll that field there. And uh, I've just, I've got limited time that I can be, uh, be recording today. So I think what we'll do is we'll just call this one done where it is. And uh, the next video, we will get that field prepped. And that'll give you guys a few, uh, a little bit of time to give me some comments on what you would like to see. If there's a specific crop you think we should put in. Um, and you know, if we should do do other things that you guys want to see, definitely leave them in the comments and that will give me some time to, to look through those and see what ones look like they're a good idea and then we can make it happen. Um, but we're definitely, definitely going to have to make sure that on the next episode that we roll this field. So we're going to take the... Uh, take the roller over here and we're going to get ready to do that regardless of what kind of comments we get that definitely has to be done so we'll uh we'll park right here and we will call the episode okay and uh come back tomorrow with another one so i hope that you guys all enjoyed the video today and i hope that we don't run into any more problems our save game doesn't go away and nothing else gets corrupted so fingers crossed <laughs> but uh yeah i'm i'm definitely enjoying the series so far having a lot of fun with it and i hope you guys are too so if you are definitely leave me a like leave me some comments let me know what's going on and uh we'll play it by ear and go from there so uh with that all being said i hope that you guys uh had a blast and i hope we'll see you out on the next one Take care, everybody.